Welcome to Digital VLSI Design Virtual Lab, Experiment Number 4, Logic Gates. The aim of this experiment is to plot the dynamic characteristics of a two-input NAND, NOR, XOR, and XNOR gate. To start, click on the Simulator tab. In this new page, you are provided with four separate links, one for NAND, the other for NOR, XOR, and XNOR gates. First, we will see how to plot the NG space based dynamic characteristics of a NAND gate. Now to perform this, click on the first link. On the left top of the page, you are provided with a schematic diagram of the circuit setup along with the two input voltage waveform sources which are defined in the SPICE code corresponding to the labels V in 1 and V in 2. MP1 and MP2 are the two PMOS devices and MN1 and MN2 are the labels for two NMOS devices in the circuit. The WYL ratio of PMOS and NMOS are by default designed to equalize the rise and fall times at the output waveform in the worst case scenario of the input. Following the specification of the circuit, level 49 SPICE model is given for PMOS and NMOS device. Finally, the SPICE program concludes with a transient analysis code which runs for 10 nanosecond duration. Now to perform the experiment, click on the simulate tab. Three waveforms will appear. The first two corresponds to the input waveforms which we have defined in the SPICE program and the last one corresponds to the output waveform. We know that a NAND gate will give low value of output state when both its input state are at high values, which happens during the intervals 0 to 1.5 nanosecond and 3 to 4.5 nanosecond, which is correctly followed as we have anticipated. One can also measure the rise and fall time of the output waveform by appropriately magnifying the time scales by modifying the transient analysis curve. For example, the rise time which happens between 1.2 and 1.6 nanosecond can be clearly seen by modifying the command as follows. And then rerunning the simulation. One can easily measure the time taken for the output waveform to rise from the low state to the high state and thus calculating the rise time. Similarly, in the case of fall time also. One also has the privilege to edit the input waveforms as well as the W by L ratio of both the NMOS and the PMOS device and see how the dynamic characteristics of a NAND gate changes accordingly. In order to perform the simulation of other logic gates, we can go back to the previous simulate tab and click on any of the other three links. As the XOR and XNOR differs greatly from NAND and NOR circuits, we will see the operation of an XNOR gate. For a two input XNOR gate, we have more number of PMOS devices and more number of NMOS devices. The implementation of inverters in the circuit are done through dot subcircuit command, which will define an inverter circuit out of a PMOS and NMOS transistor. In the main program, we can pass on the actual values of the nodes and call the inverter circuit wherever we want to place it. Rest of the procedures are similar to that we have seen in the case of NAND gate. And one can proceed in the same manner as we have done before. Thank you.